Welcome back to Virginia This Morning, live on CBS 6. According to the National Pasta Association, the average American eats approximately 20 pounds of pasta each and every year. October is National Pasta Month. We wanted to celebrate with our good friends from Carrabba's Italian Grill. This is a recipe that you'll definitely want to add to the collection. Take a look. Today, we're stepping into the virtual Virginia This Morning Kitchen with Chef Justin Cole, managing partner of Carrabba's in Midlothian, to prepare rigatoni campagnolo. Good morning, Chef. Thank you for having us on the show today. Thank you for being with us. So it is officially National Pasta Month and Carabas has the perfect menu for the celebration. Tell us about the deliciousness that you're preparing for us today. All right, so today we're gonna work on one of my personal favorites. It is the rigatoni campagnolo. Um, it's using rigatoni pasta, which is a large tubular pasta, which has ridges in it uh, to soak up all the sauce and hold it onto. It's, um, made with our house-made pomodoro sauce. It's got Italian fennel sausage in it and onions, garlic, and roasted uh, red bell peppers. I'm already hungry. <laughs> I, I wish that I could have a little quality control plate over here so I could taste as you go. We'll have to work on that for next time. But right now we're gonna dive into the recipe and how you prepare something that just looks amazing. So where do we begin? All right, so first you're gonna to wanna to have your pot of boiling water that has uh, been salted. Um, and then you would just dunk your rigatoni in there and you wanna cook it to about al dente. Uh, al dente means slightly undercooked. That way, when you're adding it to your sauce and everything, you can finish cooking there. That way you don't overcook your pasta. And then we would start with sauteing some garlic and onions wait until they get to about translucent. Uh, it takes about three minutes, but I've already got it started right here. Um, so after you get those translucent and get those all nice soft, you can add in your sauce. And what kind of sauce are we working with there? So this is our Pomodoro sauce. So it's a uh, blended up, tomatoes and whatnot. It's just a very light uh, sauce. So it's our house sauce. It's, it's what we use in pretty much all of our red sauces or we use it to modify other sauces to make sauces. All right. And then you would want to add your salt, pepper, and sugar. And you're just going to get this all cooking and get it up to a nice boil. And then once that gets good and hot, we will add in our sausage. And what kind of sausage are you placing there? And how much do we need? All right. So it's about a half a pound of Italian sausage. So what you would do is take your Italian sausage, cut it out of its casing, and just chunk it into, you know, little little balls, about half an inch or so. And you just get all that cooking and get it all mixed together and nice, fantastic. I love this, this sauce, it's so good, so fresh. Uh, so after your noodles have boiled and you've got this up to a nice hot temperature, uh, you would wanna combine them all. And once again, it's really important to make sure you get this al dente uh, so it's still got its crunch to it and, but it's like pretty much 90% cooked that That's way. When you add it to your sauce, you don't overcook the pasta. Right. And I, I can say that I know exactly what you mean and why that's important, because sometimes having that pasta overcooked, you can get to that overcooked state a little bit faster than you think you can. So you're that you actually still need a bit of a crunch to the pasta. Yes. And usually, like you saw when I just broke it apart, it'll still have a white ring in it. So you can do that with any pasta. Uh, it should just have a little bit of white ring on the inside where it looks like it's still raw. And that's actually what you want. That way, when you put it into your pot, it still has time to cook. And that way, it doesn't get too mushy after it's in the pot with your sauce. 
Well, that is a true pro tip right there. I'm definitely going to be adding that one to my arsenal. Right, <laughs> now it's time to mix it all together, right? We're already there. Yes. We are there. I mean, as long as you get everything done ahead of time, this is a pretty short cook time. All right. So let me just get it in there like that. And then you just want to mix it around, get it all nice and incorporated. Already. I mean, I can see, even though I'm a little far away, I can see <laughs> the goodness and the heat coming off of that. Um, and then you're going to be adding some, some nice little garnishes, right? Yes, ma'am. And then, so while we're letting this go, you know, in front of us, we have our other pasta dishes, which is really good for pasta lunch. We have our lasagna, our uh, fettuccine caraba. This is a cooked rigatoni. And then we have our two delicious desserts, our Sonio Camp and our uh, cannoli cake over here. Uh, we do offer all of this in family bundle sizes, which starts at around $39.99. Feeds about four, possibly five people. Uh, so you can get all of this in family bundle style, individual portioning. We're also pushing caterings right now. So you can do catering for your big parties. We bring it to you. We set everything up. It doesn't yeah. get better than that. I mean, you have truly an option for every pasta lover. And, you know, most pasta lovers, it seems that they like many different types of pasta. So you've got that covered, as well as for those who might like something that's a little, you know, considered their specialty, along with the desserts. And I see some wines there that you're going to be pairing them with. I mean, it looks like the perfect menu to celebrate National Pasta Month. Absolutely. I mean... What we like to say is it's endless possibilities. I love it. Endless <laughs> possibilities. Well, thank oh. you so much for being with us today. We so appreciate it. You've made me extremely hungry. It's time for me to get over to Carabas myself and grab Absolutely. wonderful meals for me and my family. So I look forward to being with you in the restaurant at some point. And there is the completed dish. There we go. Well, we will see you next time. We'll see you in the restaurant. Thank you for being with us. Awesome. Once again, thanks for having us. For those of you who'd like to learn more about National Pasta Month and the amazing dishes offered by Carabas, both in their Midlothian location and their other Richmond location, we invite you to our website at wtvr.com slash VTM.